Let's start with something really easy. So suppose you have already installed LiveRay. How to start and stop the server. So we will do this in Linux and also in Windows. So let's start with Linux. Uh, you can see on the screen um, I have a browser open and uh, on the top right there is a window for starting and stopping the server and there is another terminal window for the logs. So I will first start the server here. So we are currently in the directory opt-liferay ce portal 741ga2 tomcat9043 bin and in here there is a file called startup. So we start up this the server here and here we look at what's happening in the log to see if there are not any errors. Currently LiveRay is configured to work with the Postgres database and now take some time depending on your machine. I'll fast forward a bit. We see this LiveRay coming up. That's a good sign. There are no error messages and usually if the server is started it will open automatically in the browser. If it doesn't we can look at localhost 8080 but there it is. So now it's started and in the standard configuration we can sign in with test And you have to give it some kind of email address, but the email address doesn't really have to exist. And the password is test as well. And now we are administrator of the live portal and we can start doing our work here. So the next thing is stopping the server. I go to my terminal window here and I just say shut down and now you can see in the Catalina out that themes are unregistered so it's stopping the server And if we do uh, look at the processes, well, we see that there are no more Java processes, so the whole thing is stopped. That's something you have to watch out. And now if you try to work on LiveRay, it says it's unable to connect. So it's definitely stopped. And then we can start it again. That's all for now.